and this is your first time doing the podcast with me. But you could take this as a compliment because one of the um, one of the taglines of the I Am Rapport Stereo Podcast is I don't fact check, which means no notes. So yeah. you know I'm serious. Okay. When I have my notes. Wow. Okay. I need notes. You're gonna ask me like, what was it like working with that director? I'm like, oh, where the hell was it? You know, we get to a point where we've done you and I've done we have very similar careers. I mean, we kind of are we rolling, Denisha? Oh, go, we're go, no, go ahead. Go. All right. Well. It's, it's kind of interesting because it's uh, you work with so many different people. We both love to work. And uh, and we'll pop into little things and just kind of like move the move the narrative, move the move, it's kind of it's kind of move the plot is what I call it. Yes. Basically. You know, you kind of basically get in there and you say, how can I how can I make this this moment like you know, as, as far as the script goes, but move it that closer to what they want. And uh, and then you always get to play with it, too. So. But I like to say yes to a lot of uh, independent filmmakers because, uh, my God, it, their heart and soul is in it. It's not like they're just doing a corporate thing for the you know, studios. It's kind of no. this is my baby, and this is uh, and and w when you you're doing working like that, and and they're they're free and they want it. They want you because you bring all kinds of things to it. It's just a it's a joy to do, and I've done plenty of those. I'm sure Requiem had that vibe. It was crazy. Now there's a great director. Let me get to it. All right. Let me cool. intro it. Yeah. We're in the two shot, Denisha. I am Rapport Stereo Podcast. Very, very, very excited. Uh, one of my favorite actors. I'm sure a lot of people also consider him one of their favorites. Chris McDonald, the great, longtime veteran kick actor and Buffalo Bills super fan. I would have to go with either fan or super fan. Fan plus, probably. Super fan, yeah. I mean, they're the best. Well, not the best, but they, boy, were fun to watch this year. But thanks for having me, Michael. What a joy. I appreciate you coming yeah. on. Uh, like I said, I've been a longtime fan. Um, but I, I, have to, I, have to, I have to just back up because I said Buffalo Bills super fan, and you don't seem like you want to embrace being a super fan. Are you not a super fan? Or are you, do you think that makes you into like, like almost like Howard Stern whack pack level? Yeah, I, 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 a mafia, a Bill's mafia to a certain extent. There's an, then the, 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 the craziness happens and I'm not that guy. I went, once went to a, a Super Bowl. It was the Colts versus the Jets, I think. No, no, Colts versus, anyway, it was at the Jets stadium. The game was over. Oh, it was the Seahawks, of course. And the Seahawks got them the first thing and they started, this is what they do. Seahawks the entire game, okay? They're the 12th man on the field. And I turned around to this girls and I said, seriously, the whole game? She goes, oh, no, you, we just started. I said, oh, my God. I'm not that kind of fan. I'm not going to be that, that screaming person. In public? In public, true. Okay, now at home, I'm asking. I don't know. All right. At home, what's going on? I'm jumping off the couch when I see the plays, and I go, are you kidding me? Could you see that arm? Can we see that again? I rerun things. I say, you got to get in there and see this one. It's unbelievable. The show that they put on, especially this year and last year, has been amazing. Do you think if you weren't a recognizable actor, you would be able to embrace? I feel like you want to jump off a van onto a table as a Bill's Mafia person, and I feel like the only thing that's doing it is your career. Because I feel like... But I actually feel like at this point in your career, that would be like a good thing. But I feel like you're not embracing your true Bills Mafia super fandom. Am I wrong? Am I looking too deep into this? Uh, no. I would you jump off a table before uh, a Bills game? Uh, yes, I would, depending on uh, the game, first of all, depending on who was daring me to do it. I mean, if Jim Kelly was there and said, like, come on, you wuss, do it, then I would probably do it. But for the most part, I uh, I try to keep a cool profile because, you know, Shooter shows up and people know, and it's got a little bit, a little bit nutty. It's a little crazy. And I got to say, I, I've embraced it. I've learned to embrace it. But, man, I went to the Super Bowl, I guess it was like three years ago, and I, I had no peace. So I thought maybe it's a good thing to go in a box next time. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I do now, and it's kind of great. But I, listen, I love the fans. They're awesome. But wow. um, You grew up where? Upstate New York. I was. I'm a Long Island guy. Born in Manhasset. Mm. Yeah, Denver. Lived there. Lived in Freeport, Baldwin, Merrick, with my father and as seven siblings, uh, Irish Catholics. And uh, wow. why? About when I was about twelve or thirteen, he moved us up to Green Acres, what I call. It's like uh, 
Romulus, so, New York, is called. Do you consider yourself a long? But so, because that's an interesting time to move. So, are you a Long Islander or are you a upstate New York guy? Used to be a Long Islander. Now I'm upstater. Okay. Yeah, many many years there. Too. I got you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I go back. I love I love it. Long Island's one of the great places. I mean, there's uh, so many great people from there. Uh, I drove drove by my old house like literally three months ago. I went, whoa, we were we were living in tight quarters. Because, it, you know, it's on this woodbine drive, and it was this little tiny house. As a kid, I remember it being this massive place. Right. But boy, the eye-opener. Um, the Super Bowl this weekend, the Buffalo, uh, uh, the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Who you got? Why do you got them? Do Buffalo Bills fans have the same level of hate that New York Giants have for the Philadelphia Eagles and the Philadelphia Eagle fans? Uh, I don't think so. I think uh, they're more upset that uh, we're not there and a team that we beat is there. We beat them. And we just had tough coming after with, you know, Baltimore and everything. But uh, that's the way I'm feeling. I'm, I'm going for the for the Eagles because... You're rooting for the Eagles? I'm rooting for the Eagles. Wow. I know. It's just uh, I would rather have the team that beat us lose. Although I really like that team. They're good. I mean, Kansas City's freaking good. And that quarterback is unbelievable. It's hard not to like Mahomes, boy. Mahomes is a great guy. He couldn't be nicer either. I met him, and he was like a great, great kid. And I said, wow, oh, man, kudos to you. He's got skills, crazy skills. He's ridiculous. Yeah. But it's, I, think, I think that, you know, our, our boy Josh Allen's got skills in many ways. Josh Allen is sick. Sick arm. Sick runner. I mean, he's just fearless. He's Sick arm, sick runner. Yeah. Disposition, he he's sick. Yeah. Um, Giants fan, I know wide right. Sorry, it just came out. What, did I say? What did I just yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, it came out. What did I just say? You said wide right, but that's a little bit of a you know jab in my heart. That's what you're trying to say. No, I <laughs> did, I didn't mean to say wide right. Oh, okay. Because I, I I had purposely said don't say wide right. <laughs> For those of you you at home that doesn't know what wide right means. Buffalo Bills had a tear there during the Jim Kelly days, who was calling his own plays, to uh, be the championship of the AFC for four consecutive years going to the Super Bowl. And the first year, we played a little team called the New York Giants. Yeah. And uh, the ball went wide right at the 11th hour. But this is what Buffalo did. They gave that guy a parade. Right. I mean, listen, we would have loved to have won. Don't get me wrong, but the heart and soul of Buffalo and the love of the Buffalo Bills, they just made the guy feel like a million bucks. And it was, it's, it's, in, it's in this great show called The Fall, Four, the Four Falls of Buffalo. 30, 30 for 30. 30 for 30. Aren't you in that? It's great. Uh, I think I mentioned, I mentioned it or something, but I, yeah. I, I, a, lot, a lot of good fans that I know they're in it. It's just a, it was a crazy time. And, and I tell you, Jim Kelly became a dear friend of mine. I met him, funnily enough, at, the, at a race car thing. They said... I didn't have a publicist at the time, so I, she said, well, what do you need? We'd love to work with you, Chris. And I said, all right, you get me in that race that's down there in Long Beach where they have the celebs getting together? He goes, let me work on that. Two days later, she goes, you're in. I said, you're kidding me. So we go up to this place called Willow Springs. There's every kind of, like, sports guy. There's 25 of us. Sports athletes. There's, there's, uh, there's Olympic athletes. There's, mm. there's, there's very, you know, type A personality actors. And we go around the table to say hello. And I look at, oh, that's Jim Kelly right there. Oh, my God. And, you know, we haven't said hello or anything. So he gets around to me and it was all these people gets to me. and says, I'm Jim Kelly. I play a little football. And he looked over and he's like, what a <laughs> We've been friends ever since. He's a great guy. Yeah, he's cool. I told him. Uh, and, and one of the, I got to say. He is the toughest guy. You he's know, been through it, man. He's been through it. He, there's like, there's five of them from, you know, including Namath and all these guys from Eastern Philly, uh, Eastern Pennsylvania that are just, wow. Yeah. Just, uh, or Western Pennsylvania, actually. And man, they're, they're just all as tough as nails. Terry Bradshaw, people like that. It's like, wow, five quarterbacks coming out of that one area. Yeah, it's crazy. So, it's but he, he's been up against it. He's fought the cancer. He's beaten the cancer. He had loss of his son born on his birthday. Oh. Little, uh, oh, man, I tell you. And I've been with, I've been with these situations with him, and it's just he's just tough as nails, and the, one of the great guys of the world, and God fearing man. And I just, uh, I love him like a brother. Um, I will not say W R again during this podcast. <laughs> didn't I didn't mean to say it, and it, it was just slipped out, did it? Yes, I'm sorry. By the way, your team was great this year. Uh, they, okay, they fell apart at the end. We fell apart. We but were, they had some good, yes. good, good. We good. we superseded expectations. Um, before we get into all things acting. 
What are your top five memories throughout your fandom of being a Buffalo Bills fan? Well, there's a good question. Um, I'm going to start with the most recent, um, number 20, Mr. Hines, running back not one, but two kickoffs. That game was a, uh, it was ridiculous. That game was ridiculous. We could have lost it, but for those two runbacks. It was fantastic. He he's unbelievable. And I was that was you're jumping out of your seat going, Are you kidding me? Yeah. Remember Josh Allen holding his head going, Oh my God. I mean, just crazy. So that's one. Uh Jim Kelly, uh, back in the day, and he had that team. He had Bruce Smith on D, one of the, you know, all of fame, Hall of Famers that is just he was a beast. Yes. Then he had the wide receivers. He had, you know, he has uh Andre Reed, another Hall of Famer, number, yep. number 83. He had the, you know. The, the, there's so many great, great players on that team. You know, Thurman Thomas. Thurman oh Thomas God, is great. Thurman Thomas this year. We would have won this. Well, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, he, he great, great players, all super nice guys that I've I've met over the years and uh big fan of. Uh that's uh that's probably three. Number four, let's see. I got um I'm gonna go with a little guy named Josh Allen. Uh I gotta stay more current because man, the guy we spoke, said it earlier, it's worth repeating, he's a wizard. He yeah, is fearless. If he wants, if he sees that line, he's going to run for it. Slide, slide, no, slide, jump over the guy. Yeah, and that became there's this big thing on on next to the stadium now with him jumping over the thing. It's like a street sign. It's unbelievable. So he got everybody starting to do that. Now. Yeah, kind of you got to be careful. Yeah, and just the fact that that uh, you know the, the the four falls of of Buffalo was uh, just a heartbreaking thing. Dallas got us twice. Of course, you guys got us the first time, and, mm -hmm. uh, and then Jim Jim was uh, hurt uh, the last two games. So, but still, um, yeah, some great great achievements along the way. And my brother Jim uh, is a fanatic. He's one of those guys that would jump on a table in a okay. heartbeat. Um, I got a little you know rep to protect, so I can't do it. Uh -huh. But uh, he is uh, you know he's a guy that would do that, and he just loves it and takes his girls up there, and they're all fanatical fans. He goes to every game. Where, where's your head at? You must have loved OJ Simpson. Who didn't? He was the player, the how, juice. Jesus, he was good. How did you transit? Like when that whole thing, it's a different thing if you're a Buffalo Bills fan. Yeah. And and OJ became what he is now. Yeah. Do you follow him on Twitter? Are you on Twitter? I am on Twitter. I, no, not Twitter. I do. I, I don't want to get in trouble. So I uh, <laughs> basically stay clear of Twitter. I'm on the Instagram and uh, don't even really do Facebook. I just do Instagram and and uh, now my, my kids want me to get on the TikTok. I don't know about that. Oh, man, you'd kill it on TikTok. Yeah, people, would be, people, people would, uh, uh, they'd be happy to, to have you on, uh, on there. I know. Let's get to.